Tired of waiting to see the next episode reaction? Why not join the Patreon? You can gain access to reactions that have been uploaded weeks in advance before they land on YouTube. Most of all, you can watch the full-length versions without the annoying copyright filter and subpar audio for just $5 a month. If you want to take your loyalty even further, you can watch our non-animated related reactions as well as submit requests for just $10 a month. So stay ahead of the curve and help us sustain the brand. Thank, Thank you! you. Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here are my lovely wife Jenny Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything that we ain't never seen. And today, if you read by the title, you know it's time for us to jump into some more Fate Stay Night, the 2006 edition, because this is an awesome edition that provides a lot of context to things that we're going to need later on down the line when we react to all those spinoffs. Now, I ain't going to lie, I did have a major complaint with this edition. I'm not sure if the other editions are like that, particularly with this one character, which involves uh, Shiro or Shiro. This dude is something else, man. He is so old. He's oblivious. not that bright, y'all. He's not that bright. Not yet, anyway. He might get there, but... Right. As for right now, he be doing stupid shit and putting himself in jeopardy. And consequently, also, his damn uh, servant in jeopardy. Right. And also, the people around him in jeopardy. Exactly, man. It's like you have access to all this power, but you're going to go ahead and just leech off of this woman's power while she collects dust. Because we discovered that, in a way, he's able to rapidly heal fast and it's all based on the fact that he's sharing some of the mana or some of the magic with uh my girl what's her name saber mm -hmm. yeah sable from wwe that's what i thought of right. here. sable yeah he's sharing some of the magic with her and he got her at home just sitting barefooted waiting on him to come back you know and people keep having to remind him that this is a contest of champions we are all enemies here. We are fighting to gain that one particular thing, which is the McMuffin of this series. Not the McGuffin, but the McMuffin. And that is the Holy Grail. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. It's just a little frustrating dealing with this character. Is there anything that you want to provide to this? I know you hate him, too. Well, I don't necessarily hate the guy. I don't hate him. I feel like he feels like he's trying to do a noble cause, but he's not trying to be a hero. It just isn't that way? That's just not how this is. Right? You trying too hard to be a hero, homie, and that's just not how things go around here. But we also got a chance to see him fight against this one servant whose um, owner or your know, master is like a mystery right now. But we're guessing it's going to be that Chad dude that had him cleaning up the gym. And kind of, because I think that Chad dude set him up. He knew that there was going to be a fight lurking around the corner somewhere between um, the Lancer and uh, the Archer. And he set him up. He was like, hey, just stay over here and clean up the gym. Because why was he so adamant about that? I think that's going to be the guy who's going to be the master to that chick with the chain. You think so? I don't even know what you just said. I was on Planet 7. Um, you remember the Eric guy who had all those girls? <laughs> nah, yeah. Him? I think that's what you said, but I'm pretty sure that's what you said because that's what we said earlier and that's right. exactly what I think. Yeah, I was just saying that maybe he deliberately made him do that, you know, clean the gym up because he knew it was going to be a big battle. Right. Because he could probably sense that there were other masters around too. Right. And he probably wants to just get him out of there because he probably also knows that he's weak. Right. Everybody has an ulterior motive when it comes to this Holy Grail and we're kind of seeing that now. Shiro is the only one who's just kind of like stupid. So it is what it is, man. We're going to see him grow as a character eventually. So I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. I'm going to let my wife clean her breasts. This is off because they look all nice and succulent. And we're going to go ahead and react to this. This is episode seven. She can't really come to school with you, can she? Yeah, but you haven't seen her today. I don't think she's going to. I can't believe she actually backed down. It was rather simple. Saber's objective is incredibly straightforward and well defined. You just have to address the subject with her in terms of the I hate when they walk like that. that you know your ass would actually fail now. Exactly, especially if it was you. No one is going to suspect a master as inept as Enya to be walking around without any kind of protection. I think that it's actually going to make your enemies more nervous if they don't see Saber at your side. They'll wonder if it's a trap and be less inclined to attack you. Really? I mean, they wasn't else, less inclined to attack his ass last night. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everybody else just perceived this nigga to be an idiot. Osaka, you are one scary girl. Seriously. Like, what are you thinking, nigga? You guess he crossed his line, you're gonna feel something. Oh. <laughs> right. Re zero. Feel what? It sometimes hits me when I 
I pass through here, I start to feel queasy, like I'm suffocating. It's like the air is suddenly all close and sticky. You're probably reacting to the barrier. I'm not surprised. It's getting much stronger. It is? If we don't do anything, it'll probably activate in a couple of days. A couple of days? Will you please keep your voice down? I said if we don't do anything. Ah! Wah! To you too. <laughs> I don't believe it. Wow. What are you doing with her? Well, it's kind of a long story. I had a bad feeling this morning, but I didn't suspect it would be this ill of an omen. Get that! Her poison will infect you. You've got to keep your distance. <sighs> it looks like our conversation is over for now. Lunch break on the roof. Be there. <laughs> Maybe on a rooftop this Sunday. This is my man. That's what this homeboy looking like. I got his right. own. <laughs> I keep forgetting she's a teacher. Man. Mm -mm, no, <laughs> Seriously. Got on the Air Max Gorgeous. Apologize. <laughs> Apologize. She ain't trying to hear that, man. She know you're not gonna boost her old girl. It's bad enough she had to find out about Saber. He's late. Mm. Now you done left old girl on the That nigga ain't your servant. Girl. Right, like she acting like this archer or something. Like I'm just supposed to appear right there. Well, shoot, he said he was gonna be there and he's not, so. Oh, shit. <laughs> This man, shit. we talking about he a simp. Maybe this is the ultimate Mac Daddy. Seriously. Anyway, tomorrow things will be back to normal. Okay. See you later. I seem to recall that you and I made a little agreement to meet on the roof today. Yeah. Uh... What happened? Did you just forget? No, I didn't forget at all. But I ran into soccer on the stairs, so Glad I... Glad to come out there and find your ass. Yeah. I felt bad about what happened this morning. It was pretty rude of me. So I thought I should apologize. I see. Uh, yeah, she got feelings, too. Ain't no way you're going to keep saving hey, a nigga that's wait. inadequate if you didn't have feelings for him. I'll tell you, man, that, that simp energy, it starts to wear on him. I suppose I should start with the most distressing bit of information that I found. This morning, someone placed a call to the school. They found Mitsuzuri. <sighs> Apparently, she's still alive, but she's completely unresponsive. According to Her the soul's been taken. Signs of being poisoned. What do you think? If you ask me. It was a servant! Chances are their master ordered them to attack. The barrier that's been placed over the school is exceptionally vicious. Once that thing is activated, we're doomed. It will melt the minds and absorb the psyches of every person on this campus. Damn. There's no way we can destroy it. But if we go through and destroy its sigils, we can slow down the activation process instead. Sigils? That's right. Here's how the barrier works. Once it's erected, it starts creating a varied number of sigils. Mm. The sigils then resonate with each other. I like the multiverse of madness. Mm -hmm. Each sigil spawns another, and eventually the barrier becomes larger and larger. As long as the sigils are in place, and you're stuck in a giant marble until it is finally engulfed its target. For you, that's any place you've reacted to. I do like how they explain things very thoroughly. They do, man. It's like they don't just assume we already know what they're going for. They don't throw us into all the crazy shit immediately. Mm -hmm. It'll take time. If they were that easy to find, I would have taken them out already. You have to focus to find them, sharpen your senses, and really concentrate. You're right. Absorb mm -hmm. Girl, you gotta piss in all that. Nope. 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 Yes, it may very well be that you have a special knack for finding these kind of objects. Uh oh, mm. you may not be useless together. after all, right? Let's meet up after school. Looks like slowing down this. Girl, he already got to meet up with so and so and so and so else. Yeah, but Saber said. Don't worry, you've got me to protect you as well as Archer. Uh, he's here. Sure, 
I'm just keeping him in spirit form. I didn't know. Yeah, because you don't know how to do that. Are you okay? He could at least yeah. ask her how to do some of this shit. I was just thinking, man, you sure do have it together. They're moving yeah. at the Urban's plan. Yeah, that feels about right. Bingo. So I guess your first find wasn't just a fluke. Guess not. All right. It does Let's make sense since he he's able to look at like little structural integrity to certain things. And on the board too. On the goddamn board. <laughs> Under the cabinet. <laughs> this is so nineties music ish. In the electrical box. Up on the roof. The ceiling. One take a peek, man. Ooh. <laughs> uh. It's like a love montage, man. They start to fall for each other. Boys' bathroom. Let me guess. It has to be the boys' bathroom. <laughs> Ready to smell the uh, the fabulous scent of Mountain Dew and orange piss. Does it seem to you like we got them all? Yeah, most of them anyway. Well, we've at least destroyed enough to get the job done. I'm sure this master never expected to have so many sigils destroyed in one day. So regardless of how this affects the barrier, this is bound to trigger a response. And then we catch him in the act, right? Exactly. Show yourself already. You've put me through a whole lot of trouble over this. I'm gonna make you pay. Mm -mm. You know, that look you've got on your face is sending chills up my spine. Think you can? Think you can. Uh-oh. Idiot, you jinxed me. Now I really do have chills up my spine. No, I don't think that's a jinx or a coincidence. You want one? Mm -hmm. Soda? Well, Lots of coffee. I guess you're not a complete waste of space. You know, even your compliments come across as rude. Oh, and by the way, next time you want to buy me a drink, make it milk tea. Choose anything else and you'll begin losing gratitude points. Are we clear on this? Oh, yeah. Why are you Unless, afraid? Of course, I forget next time. <laughs> you know... What? Well, I was just thinking, you really are the opposite of what you project, aren't you? In a thousand years, I never would have guessed that the school's top student is nothing but a cold-blooded killer. It's like he say said, you're a real con artist. If the people being conned are upset, they have no one to blame but themselves. Amagus has to conceal their identity. Maybe. And besides, I'm heir to the Tosaka family. If I don't work hard and become the school star pupil, then I'll never be able to look my father in the eye when I see him up in heaven. Wow. Yes, he died when I was young. But he lived a long time. Yeah, these people have daddy issues. House, so it's not like Everybody got daddy issues in the day. They do. someone close to you it doubles it's not something you can just rationalize away by telling yourself you're a magus you're right you're absolutely right i won't even try and deny it okay would help you if you did we should go home yeah we vibed out a lot today man we both these little what do they call them syllabus <laughs> syllabus spells or skeptics no I didn't man I was about to say the actual word once you said that that shit threw me off and I forgot the actual word now I think it was skeptics or something or no, skeptics no one of those you and together as a team if I lost you I would suddenly be at a disadvantage it's as simple as that have I made myself clear now good night damn couldn't even get the draws let alone the pantyhose he couldn't even get the socks or the shoes 
Uh oh. <laughs> you knew it was gonna pull up. This presence is so strong. The air is so thick and, and so close. Extra thick. And she they they would do that shit as soon as she's gone. Understand why it's so hard for him to just have her be somewhere in the vicinity, nigga. So you won't have to risk using your mark. Right here, of course. We didn't even check out this spot. I don't know why. It's by far the most suspicious. Bruh, he would get killed first in a scary movie after the black person, of course. <laughs> Damn, that's a big ass seal. Got sperm marks on it. That's huge. Yeah. Get to no, you ain't. Rider. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sick of this dude. I'm sick of this dude. I'm sorry, y'all. You sure you want to use that, Emiya? <laughs> Shinji! <laughs> Shinji. I can take it from here, Ryder. I tell you. Well, I knew it was him. I knew it. It's you. Y'all didn't know nothing. I knew so, it. Emiya, why don't you swing by my house for a visit? It's been such a long time. But guys, that was episode seven. Pretty cool episode. Getting a chance to see uh, Shiro and Rin use their abilities to uh, detect all these little different seals that are, you know, powering up the barrier and trying to, you know, kind of reduce it a little bit because it can cause people to have like issues, like they'll probably pass out or they'll go crazy or something. I don't know. But yeah, but to normal people they will. But yeah, uh, we already knew who the prime candidate was, who was a uh, controlling writer. And it just so happens to be the Playboy that had all the little harem girls around him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just, I believe for a fact that he tried to set up my boy Shiro so he would get off anyway. You know, just use the other warriors to his advantage. You know, because people going to have all, they all going to have the ulterior motives, as I suggested earlier. Uh, what do you have to say about this episode? You know, it seemed like he was doing a good job. Him and, um, I can't even remember that poor girl's name. Really? What's the girl? What is oh, her name? Um, Tokasa, Tokak, Tohak, her. No, no, who it is. When? They was yeah, sure. They were getting closer, and you know, I thought maybe he finally was getting his smarticles together in his brain. Nope. Let me go investigate too. Yeah, I was like, if he. Why wouldn't you just immediately? Uh, hey, she was right down the street. She had just walked off. Why I'm, wouldn't you just go run and get her? I just don't understand together. that. Like, I, I like, why is it so hard for him to just have? Saber in the vicinity somewhere. Just have her posted up somewhere so you won't have to be trying to call her and use one of your damn command marks. Because that's what everybody has been doing. They've been making sure that their hero isn't too far behind so they won't have to do that. This guy, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, I just don't get this nigga, man. But hey, we're going to see what happens. It's like it's going to be a mano y mano fight between both of him, you know, and the other dude, which are just humans fighting. So. And maybe that other dude has some kind of special ability because it seems like all of these characters have their own unique ability aside from having a heroic spirit. So we're going to see what this dude, what's his name? I forgot, but it don't even matter because he's a lame anyway. We're going to see what kind of special he got. If I were to rate this one, I'll go ahead and give it an A-. Yeah, an A-, yeah. So there you have it, guys. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into episode 8 and see what they're talking about. Let's go. That you've been forced against your will to become a master too, right? Which means we're both in the same boat. I could care less about all of this. I have no desire to have any part of these ridiculous grail wars. Then why'd you put up that barrier? You can't tell me you don't want to fight when you're putting up something like that! I'm sure you're aware we have a Magus here at school by the name of Tosaka, right? 
I simply thought that with her around, it's best to take some defensive measures. That's more than a defense tactic. No, nah, this dude oh, was trying to play him. He is. You know that I hate to fight. You've been forced against your will. How long have we been friends though, since we were just remember, kids? Remember, 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 remember. Next question. I want to know how it is that you were chosen to be a master. The Mato family is a Magi family. <laughs> since when? A long time ago. Our powers have since dried up. No one in our family is currently a magi. We studied the lore, but that's about it. Wait, don't tell me Sakura has studied sorcery too! You really don't know anything, do you? What I tell you? When there are two children, it's the eldest son who becomes the heir. The general rule is that oh. those who are chosen as successors are either raised ignorant of magic or adopted out. I get it. So that means Sakura's not involved no, in No, she probably knows something. No, yeah, she but knows. it does mean I can't use magic and you don't know its history. Which makes us the perfect partners. Together we could take out our most imminent threat. That being Tosaka. <laughs> you know he ain't going for that. Tosaka? He got too much simping left in his blood. First of all, she seems to trust you, which is good. Secondly, I'm lacking a magic circuit. Which means I can't be detected by other magi. Samia. I think this talk is over. I know a time will come when I have to fight Tosaka. But right now she's someone I can trust and I want to keep it that way. That's your choice. I'll just sit back and watch how things play out then. Guess I won't be able to help you, Shinji. I'm sorry. You know what? As a show of good faith, let me give you a bit of information. I don't know who this person is, but I'm told a master has set up shop in Ryudo Temple. Ryudo Temple? Ah. Uh, house. According to my I think I've seen that samurai dude over there. there who's been gathering in the openings. In very large quantities. I have no intention of making a move on her. You have my word. She's gathered a lot of I don't believe nothing this dude says. I don't either. I think he set him up that day when he asked him to stay and clean the gym. I mean, I just said that though. It made sense, so I repeated it. That's <laughs> what he said back there about Ryudo Temple. Is that true? Never mind. That was dumb. I forgot that basically I'm still your enemy. What he said about there being a witch on that mountain is true. If you choose to go up against her, be careful. She's exceptionally well versed in the workings of a man's mind. Thanks for the warning. That means she's gonna trick you with titties. He's not really the fighting kind. Try to keep You dare tell me to keep an eye out on him? You have a very kind heart, don't you? There's a master at Ryudo Temple? Yeah. Apparently she's some witch who's been collecting souls. She might be the one who's behind all the attacks lately. Tell me, just how much of what this Shinji Mato person tells you do you think you can actually rely on? I'm afraid I don't really know. But that woman that Issei's father is letting board up there has me a bit worried. I thought the talent pool in the Mato family had dried up a long time ago. Wait a sec, if you had access to a grimoire, then that could explain how he became a master. So tell me, Shiro, what was your answer, huh? He asked you to join forces with him, didn't he? Yeah, I turned him down. I just felt that no matter what I decide to do, I should probably run it by you. That is the right thing. Or maybe I jumped the gun when I turned him down. That it? Whatever. <laughs> Shinji asked you to join up with him personally. If that's what you Why is she always blessed when he need to join up with somebody else? Shit. Because she wants him. She wants his body. By the way. What is it, Shiro? Something wrong? I don't know. Something's been bugging me all night long, and I can't put my finger on it. Something just doesn't quite add up. Do you think it's important? Maybe. I don't know. Let me get back to you on it. At any rate, now that we've determined there's a master on that mountain, I think we should attack as soon as possible. Shiro. No way. We're better off leaving her alone for now. Yeah, you don't want no smoke. What have I been resting for if not for this? If this woman is as cautious and thorough as we think she is, she's bound to a She done probably already made a plan. If we she do. there without a plan, it's suicide. What's that bag for? If you don't mind, I would like to pick out my own room. Really? You just Everybody crash just at the crib too? My goodness, what is this? Tenchi Mu you? so much easier. I'll need to set up a workshop too. Wait do you have any papers or glasses? <laughs> or glasses? Damn it, or you'll you listen to me. It's going to knock the shit out of you. You know, if I were to completely seal off the entire temple, I would obstruct the power of the Layla. As a result, the only place I am unable to protect with the barrier is the path that leads directly to the temple. I've driven off several servants already. Nevertheless, 
As things progress, enemy attacks will only grow even stronger. Do not falter in your defense and gate. Okay. I understand. Yeah, I want to tell you. I will do my best to live up to the fate you placed in me. It's that nigga that always be sitting there waiting at the steps and shit. What do you say we each take turns making dinner? I'll be happy to make it tonight as a thank you for letting me stay. Girl, the house, we'll shoes on, and everything. Regarding our future course of action. Would you answer me? Assuming that for now we put Ryder and the witch at Ryudo Temple on the back burner, our most pressing problem then becomes Ilias Bill von Einsburn and Berserker. Berserker. For the time being, we need to consider her as our greatest obstacle. Not only was she able to summon a first-rate epic hero, she's also powerful enough to command him. You have a point. To do that requires a tremendous... Yeah, that bitch is on another level. I hate to eyes her <laughs> as a master are light years beyond ours. They just are. From what I've been told, Archer has the eyes of a hawk. Perhaps it's best if we have him keep watch over the compound's perimeter. That was my plan. Of course, if we're attacked by Berserker, our only real option is to run for our lives. <sighs> What's the matter, Shiro? Are you hungry? No, I'm not hungry. I thought you said you had no intention of getting friendly with us. Huh? Yeah, you was just switching it up oh, on us. Now I get it. Get what? You don't have to worry. Uh -oh. I promise I won't steal your precious saber from uh, you. What are you talking about? Hey, watch what you're doing with that knife! What? Am I wrong? My bad then. Uh, give me a surprise. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> what? Yeah. I too am going to be staying here for a while. <gasps> you see, certain events have transpired. And God just damn. I wonder what Tiger Girl is going to have to say about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> she pulled her man back me. <laughs> oh my God. Actually, no, I don't understand. I'm trying to tell you that Shiro no longer needs you to look after him. Further visits from you will just be an intrusion. You're, You're so mean. Stay away. I don't believe you. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid what Tosaka Senpai is saying just doesn't make sense to me. Mary, <laughs> she said I'm gonna come up in here. Your kitchen now, Senpai. You ain't finna take my man. Tosaka already started dinner. That was crazy. You gonna have two dinners, sir. I've ever heard Sakura snap back like mm. that. The chances of right? the becoming a battleground are incredibly high. All I was trying to do was warn her that it's best for her to avoid this place. That's yeah, that is was to do? the best I was advice. Of being mean. <laughs> that too, though. <laughs> I'm ready for dinner now! Look what we got over, man. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, she's gonna be staying here for a little while, too. I guess. Another border, huh? That makes sense. There's plenty of Who's gonna help out on this, uh, this light bill? <gasps> <laughs> that nigga body just did. <laughs> oh, that's it. Your jig is up. You I'd be happy to help out if you'd like. Yes, please. <sighs> Diplomacy would be a big help. As you wish. Stand back and let me show you how it's done. Let's see. Stand back. Watch the master work. Stand by for Dragon Ball Z. As a teacher, I won't tolerate a male and female student sharing a house together. I understand, but the fact is, my house is undergoing a complete renovation right now. I had thought about living out of a hotel while the construction is being done. But I mean, what did she have to say about soccer? Did she share the same house too? And she's a student. Well, that does she cooks the food and that's all she cares about. I guess. Uh oh, something's coming. Samurai boy pulling up. Well, she got her ass whooped by Saber, so. You don't know that. She knows something is wrong. Yeah, she do. <laughs> she stayed taking L's. I'm sorry about all the mix-up tonight. Don't worry. It's okay. I also have complete faith in you. Uh, mm -mm. Shiro. Hmm? 
Regarding the witch at Ryudo Temple, you sure you won't reconsider? You haven't let that go? I said no already! It's clearly a trap! I was never naive enough to think that we could achieve victory unscathed. I don't care how much damage my body takes. As long as I have my head, I can continue to fight. Are you crazy? Why would you want to do something you know is going to get you hurt? Listen, I'm sorry, but as your master, I just can't allow you to be put in that situation. Getting injured is part of being a servant. I will not tolerate a master who avoids battle just because he's afraid for my safety. <laughs> Disapprove of me all you want, but I won't send you into battle when you're not even healed yet. I'm well enough to handle this fight. That's what I'm saying. She should be way better than what she was. When you went up against Berserker, he wiped the floor with you. Is it your objective to get both of us killed again? Sorry, but I'd like to avoid dying again if you don't mind. Oh, but what if the fight comes to you? To behave like a coward, Shiro. Whatever. We aren't attacking anyone for now, so drop it. Okay? Very well then. If that is what my master wishes. Yeah, drop it. Okay, we'll see. We pull up at your crib. Supposed to be porn music. No, it's supposed to be uh freaking you. I think about freaking you. You are so naive. Such sentiments just make you pray for other masters. Oh, girl said, I'm gonna do what I want. That's right. I'm tired of wearing this old dress. Put on the old sweet maid outfit. Go out there and call some havoc. I'm standing there looking like a uh, genie. Yeah, she done left and he was on the roof all along. Oh no, he's on the roof right there. Yeah. I thought that was the roof of his house. I'm about to say. My enemy. This nigga like he's gonna be a way more skilled swordsman. Yeah, this ain't looking too good, y'all. Man, Saber might have just done the wrong thing. You know, she probably should have taken um, Shiro's advice and just kind of stood back a little bit until they came up with a proper game plan to take on this witch and her servant. Because they seem like they're on some next level shit and they kind of wait patiently to take these souls of humans and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that's kind of cool and unique. Like she has this little isolated area where she can kind of do stuff and. If I'm not mistaken, if she's taking souls, I'm pretty sure this samurai guy, he's going to be leveled up pretty high. You know, if she's giving them to him, you know. But what did you think about this episode? Um, it was, I don't know. I feel like maybe, uh, I think Shiro wasn't as naive as we thought. I don't mm -hmm. think he actually trusted his friend. I think it's Shinji. Um, yeah. he cause he he couldn't have cause he came and told everything to old girl right away, so right. he couldn't have. Um, I do think Saber just made a mistake, but I could be wrong. But I think she did. Um, plus didn't she just disobey her master's orders? Isn't that against the rules? I know. So basically, she's gonna force his hand to use one of those commands. Uh, marks. Like I didn't think about that. I, I forgot that these these uh, spirits kind of have like a mind of their own. Well, they have a mind of their own, but they have a will of their own too, and they can do stuff that people might not, you know, might not suggest be in their very or best interest. right. So yeah, she's probably gonna force him to use one of those command marks. Probably call his bluff because he really doesn't like using them at all. You know, he hasn't used one yet, so that's probably what she's banking on. That he just sit back and let her do what she needs to do to stop this witch on this little mountain but um yeah i kind of like how they explain how some of these warriors are summoned like if you're pure apart you can summon somebody like um archer or saber and if you have like a kind of i don't want to say a corrupt but kind of like a twisted mind or something like that you summon people like Ryder, like the chick with the mm -hmm. the chains and shit like that i guess oh boy he was like a freak 
You know what I'm saying? He probably got like a whole Let catalog. Let you tell you think everybody on this show is a damn freak. Like full of magazines, like all kind of dirty magazines. And he probably like s and and shit like that. And that's what he got. He got her. You know, so he ain't really trustworthy like that. It shows that now, you know, like he already had all them girls surrounding him. Ain't no telling what he did to them. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a cool, cool explanation. But I wonder if they're going to like get the same kind of level of control as the little short girl, like the little Russian or whatever girl. Von Eisenberg. Girl. Von Eisenberg or Von Eric or whatever they call her. Right? Herself. She just had full control and she seemed crazy and she summoned a crazy ass person. Shoot. Yeah. Servant. Yeah, the berserker. I was like, the fact that you have a control of something that chaotic and that destructive just shows so small. how strong you are as um, a magus. So, yeah, I'm wondering if they're going to have any other maguses on her caliber. Uh, what do they call that? Magi? Magi. Magi, yeah. But, uh, yeah, if I were to rate that one, I would give it an A+. Plus. I was very intrigued with that premise and this character that we're about to see. Some tell me this dude is going to get all up in Saber's ass, like, literally, like, he, he, like, he don't play no games. He so don't. Oh, I'll give this an A-. minus. All right. So, well, there you have it, guys. An A plus and an A minus. We enjoyed this reaction or with this episode. Well, we hope you enjoyed the reaction. And if you really enjoyed the reaction, we ask you to do us the biggest favor and like the video as well as share it on different social media platforms to get the video out and get us in good favor with YouTube's algorithm. Really helps us and this channel. But anyways, uh, this has been your boy RBG, a.k.a. The Random Black Gamer. Here are my lovely fiance. Well, you're not even not fiance anymore. I'm so used to saying fiance, guys. My talking has just been fucked up today. My lovely waifu, Jenna Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction too. Fate Stay Night, 2006 edition. Peace.